Today we'll be going over linear in. Uh, what this problem asks for is for you to return true if you can find every single number of the inner array within the outer array, and false if you can't. So you want to start off by creating two indices, index inner and index outer. Now, the reason we create these two variables is because we'll be using a while loop. Now, the difference between a while loop and a for loop is that a while loop only operates, continues to operate, as long as the Boolean equation within the parentheses remains true. So in this case, as long as index inner is less than index dot length, uh, is less than inner dot length, and as long as index outer is less than outer dot link, we can continue operating the while loop. Now the reason we use these two variables is because the indices of where these numbers are within the outer array are they can be split apart basically. We don't know like they, they're not always going to be together. So because of that, we can't use a for loop, which gives us specific indexes to check. So while index inner is less than inner dot length, and while index outer is less than outer dot length, all we need to do is check if outer at index outer is equal to inner at index inner. So we're just checking to see if the two numbers are equal. Because if they are, then we'll just add one to each of the indices. But what if they aren't? Well, if the two numbers are not equal, that means we're still checking for the same number inside inner, but we're moving on inside the outer array. So if they're not equal, then we will only increase the index of the outer. Now once you do this, all you need to do is return whether or not you've finished running through the inner array. So return index inner is equal or not to inner dot length. And if you do that, boom, there you go.